How's it going guys? It's Saturday. I just got to work. <laughs> just kidding. I just had to come back here to uh, pick up my skates. I forgot them here because uh, I was skating on the skating trail yesterday. Oh. Good morning. Got the Timmy's warming up by the fire. Time to get to work. Oh, look out there! What a beautiful day. But today isn't about the skating trail. Today, I'm starting a new series where I go to ODRs and give them a review, like see how good the ice is. Uh, do they have lights? Was there shovels? Do they have beverages there or warming huts? So I made a TikTok about my childhood rink, like ODR that was in my neighborhood, just like giving it a really quick review. And you guys seem to want to see it. So I'm doing a series on it. I'm going to go and check out ODRs around here. There's more than I can count and plus personal ODRs if anyone wants to invite me. So today I'm heading to this guy's house that I met in men's league. His name is Lennon and he's a goalie. He made a rink on a lake. I guess he lives on a lake. Uh, it's pretty common around here, but everyone always has their little differences that they do on the ODR. So I want to go and see and we'll give it a rating. All right, we're here. How you doing? So your your name is Lennon. Yeah. Yeah. And you're you're normally a goalie. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> normally a goalie. Played goalie my whole life, and then uh, yeah. out as well whenever I can. Right. Yeah. Pond. When you're out on the lake, it's not as fun to go goalie. No, it's, it's a little cold. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. So how many more guys we got coming? I think four more. Four more. Nice. That's pretty good turnout, I guess. Can't really have too much people out because it goes. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't want to fill the driveway it's too much. Yeah. I think guys just. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you have a rink, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know too many people that uh, have access to a lake that also build one in their yard, but. <laughs> this is the chicken house. Oh, okay, nice. So, uh, I do it here. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's ready to go, really. I just gotta. Just gotta. Kind of pop the end. Yeah, it's snow blow it and. Yeah, and freeze it. Um, so last year I had uh, I set up like a backstop behind each end. Oh, right, like Had netting or yeah, something? Right. This is a pretty solid size. Yeah, I think it's 60 feet by 40. Right, so that's pretty close, to, a little bit bigger than Jeremy's in uh, his backyard. Yeah. So you got him one upped on that. Right. Imagine you got both going. You could get, you could do like a, a three on three tourney on two Yeah, that, that would be cool. <laughs> like <a> crazy dog. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so what's the, the strategy for the lake? Do you have a pump or do you run the house now? Uh, I try pump and buckets. Right. I find the best, easiest way to just Well, it's because it's so close. Yeah. Yeah. But by the time I get there with the hoses, they freeze up. Yeah. I know all about that. Yeah. And Jeremy and I spent the past like week and a half making a skating trail in our backyard. So we all know all about the hose freezing. It's like when you get 300 feet of hose going. And yeah. By the time you get there, you plug it in, you find it's frozen. Yeah. Yeah, try doing it at negative 30 yeah. all night. It's uh, not fun. <laughs> well, I'll take it back there while we're waiting for the other guys. Yeah. It's a little frozen in here, so I think you can ski through. Oh, really this is a, a little pond I made. Oh, cool. But it's frozen. You can skate on it. You can, but you can do some goalie training. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just put a net on it. Yeah. No? Just a couple. Right. I got you. Wow. They used to belong to them. The brown one is Cody, and the black one is Ozzy. Hi, Cody. Hi, Ozzy. Wow. <laughs> They're so chill. Lots of coyotes and deer in the forest. That's good to know. Might be a couple wolves. <laughs> Nothing like uh, hiking through the woods to get to the ODR. I was gonna see if uh, Jeremy wanted to come, but I went to go grab my skates and his car wasn't there. So I figured he wasn't home. He was the first real game on it. So yeah, they'll probably give it a good... A good scrape? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skates are the best way to flatten out a... Yeah, it is pretty good for being a pond. Yeah. I put a lot of work into it. Yes, of course. Took a snowblower through here, took it all the way down. Right. <laughs> this is so far probably about Twice as long as Jeremy and I's skating trail. Is it? Yeah. But 
Obviously, this is just, you just have to clear it to walk on it, not to skate on it. Um, imagine, <laughs> imagine you could <laughs> skate this whole thing. It's like a whole ski road, only on skates. Jeremy's turned me into a vlogger. <laughs> Don't go anywhere with me without my phone going, it seems like. How did the, the goalie stuff go? Oh, it was fun. Yeah. We, uh, Jeremy just uploaded the second part this morning. We realized his GoPro. I uh, wasn't going the whole time, so he had like zero audio. It was only me, basically. But I think it's safe to say I did better in that than him. Yeah. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm any good. As long as you, you stop it. Yeah. It exactly. Yeah. Goalie's easy. You just stop the puck. Simple as that. You don't have to do anything else. Lennon was just telling me that uh, there was some guy from a psychiatric ward sleeping in the woods and ran after him. I don't know why I turned off the phone, but guy's sleeping with the wolves. <laughs> Man, if I knew it was this far back, it would have been like, yeah, let's go look at the rink while we're waiting for other people. But <laughs> it's a good, it's a good walk. Oh man! Wow. Paradise. How's it going? How's it? How's it feel on the skates? <laughs> good. Oh, I thought that was Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he already got here. Yeah. yeah, I saw like 20 of them on the drive here. So how long do you think it took you to flood this and get it all cleared off? Um, you started pretty it, early. Yeah, though. About probably two weeks or so. Right. Just shoveling it and flooding it. Yeah. Um, I made a hole. I'll show you the hole. Oh, for the pump? Yeah, the yeah. flood hole. It's frozen over a bit again. Frozen over from last night. Wow, that's like, that's still like an inch. But the, the ice oh, in there yeah. is like it's still an inch thick. Can't kick through it. Yeah, it's like an inch and a half there. You yeah. could almost skate on that alone. Feel it out, dump it. Can I have one of those drink Zamboni things? Oh, yeah, yeah. Towel on it? Towel. Pull that around. The towel makes a big difference. Yeah. It helps disperse the water even. Oh, man. Smooth and smooth and smooth. Right. Well, uh, I think by the time we go back up there, other people might be there. So, so. let's go. Let's go head back and uh, I'll grab my twigs and we'll go back. Do you have, where's the net? We gotta carry the net down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's fun. guys in Looks like some more people showed up. Grab the twig and hike back down. What do we got there? Oh, golden nights. <laughs> When'd you pick that up? Uh, about a year ago. Oh, nice and shiny. It's like it, it feels like it's um, glitter. Yeah. Like it's gonna fall off, but yeah. it's not. Now all you need is the gold bucket. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's <laughs> a little bit iffy. All right, we got the net down here. What was your name again? Glenn. Glenn? Yeah, Glenn. Nice uh, blue laces. I like it. You know, I had these skates given to me about uh, two months ago. Oh yeah, and how do you like them? Well, I've always been skating in goalie skates. I are those graphs? Yeah. You can't go wrong with graphs. That's well, what I got. Yeah. They're the right price too. Yeah. Yeah, they're just given to you. It's perfect. So. <laughs> oh. Guys, ripping. <laughs> All right, let's lace up the skates. Let's go for a rip. Oh, you got a camera? Yeah, I got a GoPro. Oh yeah. There's nothing quite like skating in a forest. It's something you don't do very often. Like there's, yeah, like we you, I don't know for whatever reason I thought that uh, you lived on the water or something like on a, like it's like literally right there. But this feels completely different than on a lake because it's like nestled in the woods. Like, yeah, it's it's actually nice because I've skated on lakes before and it gets really windy. I should have brought one of my Leafs jerseys here. Why is there a Montreal fan here? Or? There, there is a Montreal fan down there. Oh, oh wait, he's got, oh, 
I definitely should have brought the Leafs jersey. I don't know how you can keep repping Montreal after this year, but honestly, I think uh, this is like a, a one-off. They don't have the best team, but they're not this bad. Like no. next year, I expect to bounce back. <laughs> that, that, that's just facts. He's not even trying to chirp. Ooh. you can in the springtime or even in the summer you can excavate and it'll just fill in so you can make this bigger and bigger if you want it cut out this part make it straight ice is pretty smooth it's starting to snow now look at that the snow is like floating through the air it, look at it it's like slow motion <laughs> Hawkstone river right does it thaw pretty quick then since since it this didn't really freeze last year really so i'm not sure yeah that's what i'm wondering it's like because if you ever have it connecting to a river then you normally it doesn't freeze as yeah, fast uh, enough. It's, it, this froze <laughs> december this is frozen wow how deep is this it's only about two feet two yeah so right that's why because it's thin enough yeah. got this old old net i might need to contact hockey shot if uh, they still have stock and uh, hook him up with a new net here. Look at it's like growing vines. Oh, almost. See what you got. That's just like me. You'll fit right in on our men's league team. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, what stick is that? The Sherwood 5030 SC. Oh, nice. Maybe 1976. That's amazing. Right? But you got a fresh DJ on there, it looks like, or at least. In the past, ten, it's been uh, used within the past 10 years, it looks like. A couple of times, not yeah. many. Yeah. <laughs> Early 70s. So uh -huh. my, my mom and dad did bought me a stick. Yeah. That's a Victoriaville. I wish I'd, I should need to take a picture. I should even bring it out next time. Yeah. Victoriaville. Yeah. To a boat here. Anyways, I had it at the camp. Yeah. And bought, I went two years and, and the Bobby Orr signed it twice. Wow. Marker and pen. That's awesome. So that was, so that'd be like 70. That's so iconic. Like 73. I was like 9, 10, 11. You should uh, bring her out next time. Or yeah. don't use it though. Just just for show and tell. Yeah. That'll be the prize. Yeah. Winning team. Oh my gosh. That would be uh, quite the prize. The work never stops, eh? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I love it. This is a great rink. Uh, amenities are a bit far. You got to hike past the horses and find your way back. But that's that's the beauty of it too. Is just the you got to go for a hike through the trail to get to the ice got a nice uh, hole to just get a fill a bucket of water and dump it simple can't complain ice conditions a little bumpy in some spots but nothing worse than our uh, skating trail overall I'd give it uh, an 8 out of 10 all the love and care that goes into any rink you can't give it much lower than that anyway thanks a lot for watching guys we'll if you like this style of video, you want to see more outdoor rinks, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys probably in Jeremy's next video because I only make one like once a month it seems like. Peace.